Welcome to the Money Down. We got a very special guest, my dog, two time champ, Laguerre Blunt, joining us. Yes, sir. Three Appreciate time for the one time, time. three time. I'm, 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 I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I got yeah. two with the one against you. Hey. 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 You lying about that? That's my bro. dog. Man, I appreciate y'all boys having me, man. Yes, I appreciate sir. you coming, bro. Yes, hey, sir. first, bro, we gotta, we gotta. I see you got your, you got a cut with you. Uh, oh, yeah. what you on. sipping on? What's your, what's your drink of choice? Oh, I'm a Hennessy man. Every any day, every day. You know hey, that? I, yeah, I'm on the Hennessy. I'm yeah, on the Hennessy handle right now. You feel me? Ooh, you, you bobbing good. Oh, you yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, 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 when you get, hey, when you get that Hennessy, that, that Hennessy XO is a party gift. Hey, you got that got a stretch. That got a stretch a little bit. I ain't gonna lie. That. That's for sure. <laughs> got a max down. Got a max down. Yeah, yeah, we got to start it off, man. You know, today as we talking right now, our guy Matt Slater, you know, retiring from the game of football, man, just a, you know, LG, just an awesome human being, man, on oh, yeah. and off the field. Just the, I call him the standard, man. When you. When you walk into that Patriots organization, yeah, you you got Tom Brady, you got Bill Belichick, but you also have this guy, which you you might not know as a rookie coming in there, but once you get into that building, he's a leader, man. He's a a vocal guy. He's just a great husband. He's a great friend, and he works hard. Though he really changed yeah. the game of football as far as special teams. I know there's always been you know kind of core special teams guy, but I remember my rookie my the first game. In Miami, I wouldn't play this dude getting triple teamed though kickoff. I ain't I ain't never seen no <laughs> I ain't never seen no shit. There'll be other motherfuckers unblocked and triple right. teamed. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey Slate, Slate well respected around the league, you know. Um, you know, I think another another guy that's that's that can be on that course is is, is B. You yeah. know, um he can be on that course as well. But uh man, yeah, Slate well respected around the league, man. Um and like you said, not only as a football player, but I mean, we got to know him a little bit more personally. But um, a lot of guys respect him as a father and as a husband. Um, you know, he, like you said, man, he's the standard. Um, this is this is definitely who you want to who you want to come into any organization with, and 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 be. You know, this is who you mold your professionalism after. A guy like that. You know, if if you want to look at how to be a perfect professional, that's who you that's that's who you turn to. Yeah, heck yeah, man. I mean, you see him putting in the work like, you know, most guys, core special teams, they'll have them, you know, I'm sure it wasn't like that all along, but they got to work with offense and defense. You know, Slate, you know, as the years got on, he got to do his special teams craft, you know, all throughout practice. So to sit there and do gunner reps and and all these, like, kick all <laughs> drops, you know, <laughs> all practice long, that, I mean, it's impressive, dog, and to see the results show up on game day. You know, shout out to Slate, man. Yeah. Congratulations, you know, on the retirement. We know you're going to excel at whatever, you know, you decide to do. You know, moving yep. forward, my guy, for sure. And I don't know if y'all seen in the news. We had NBA All Star Weekend. You know, just this past weekend. I don't know. I don't know if this is cap or not, but this guy cap. Giannis. He's here. Giannis. I'm <laughs> some. I just in general, I don't watch basketball. I love when I go into the game and I have no idea who I'm playing and what they do. What y- y'all y'all calling that cap? Or y'all believe this? I mean, big cap, <laughs> man. <laughs> hey. Listen, bro, nobody can be as cold as he is at the game and not look at it, bro. I don't care what nobody says. You can't be as raw as he is at the game and not look at it. Right. Hey, but I said, I said, I mean, if you think about it, like, and this goes back to the James Harden comment that he made a couple years ago. He was saying, like, he ain't have no bag. He probably don't, fam. He just drive to the bus. He just drive, <laughs> just drive and dunk. Drive and dunk. And then a play on defense. So... I don't know. <laughs> I feel I feel like to be a pro, I mean to, to be a pro and be hey. playing at that level, you gotta you gotta watch. You gotta see what's going on around the league and know who you're going up against. You yeah. gotta know that. Nah. I mean, you, I, you'd be surprised though, man. Some some with football, you'll be surprised though. Yeah, yeah. For sure. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. Football, you because some guys start playing football and and as a senior in high school, that, that, that's just crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, sure. Some guys really don't be tuned into it. Like they literally go to practice. They they not they not caring about football literally whatsoever till they show back nah. up the next day not watching that's that. Facts. Yeah. I'm I'm not, facts. But I'm like not you on your phone. 
Listen, Nothing. I'm not. Going, I'm not going, <laughs> hey, I'm, you ain't even watching Instagram reels. That's what I'm saying. You ain't watching highlights. You ain't watching how to get bunch songs. Well, I know, I, hey, I know. I know you're looking at Kobe highlights, bro. That's you know what I'm saying. Gotcha. Like, you, I know you're looking at Kobe highlights, bro. Gotcha. I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna name no specific names, but. I know I, James. I, I know players that 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 be on the video game is was on the video game. <laughs> hey, was on the video game. Hey, LG was on the video game as much as me, and I was a practice squad player. <laughs> me, me, <laughs> hey, these motherfuckers. We looking to you to win the game on, on hey, Sunday. Man. So I, he might not be cap. He might be cap, but. He he for sure watches something. Yeah, he's yeah. Something. He, got, he, he, he watching highlight. He on YouTube, but he had to watch. So he got to he got to know who he molded his game after. He can't be like, oh, I just felt like I got this good this way, and this is just me. Like, nah, bro, you had to mold your game after somebody, bro. Exactly. Yeah, and, sure. and as a leader of the team, man, you done took your team to a championship. You done won a championship. Ain't no way you ain't you ain't watch no ain't basketball. No way you ain't watching no basketball, bro. <laughs> that, At that, all. That, that, that whole yeah, time, baby. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> hey, listen. That's like that's like my dog LeBron, man. Y'all see my dog? Hey, <laughs> camping, boy. Hey, 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 yeah. hey camping, bro. I don't know my dog though. My yeah, dog be camping, boy. He, 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 de- he definitely right. do be capped now. But even even with All Star Weekend, it, it was similar to you know Pro Bowl for football. Pro Bowl has done gone yeah. to you know seven on seven, all that flag football, whatever you want to call it. What could what do y'all want to see from you know NBA All Star Weekend dunk contest? Now we talked about it a little bit in our group chat. It I don't know what other dunks and motherfuckers could do. Huh? So I mean, it's it's hard for somebody to like, come out there, wow, somebody. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> everything know. in the book done. Everything in the book done been done. Everything. <laughs> hey, I ain't never seen a day where I see, thought I was gonna see a nigga jump over a car. Niggas done jump over a car. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> How the hell you get that in the stadium? <laughs> <laughs> Hoverboards, mascots on hover. Boards hey, and all that. All stuff. that. Yeah. Hey, when a nigga jumped over Shaq, bro, that was the end, bro. Nigga got like, I will say though, the last dunk contest we got that was like respectable and was just like, damn, them boys were showing out was, you know what I'm saying, 2016 with you know Aaron Gordon and uh yeah. Zach Levine. Them boys yeah. was turned, but that was, that was going crazy. I don't know what else. Fan, they, they need to implement something like the skill challenge can go man yeah. put like yeah, some yeah, yeah, yeah. Put, put some ones out there put kd and Bron <laughs> to, to one, three one on one to five yeah that'll go crazy and, you know, and, and try to get embarrassed on it and all <laughs> oh, 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 sure. yeah. they're gonna be and sweating and everything uh-huh. <laughs> go ahead and toss them the extra bag and tell them boys and, turn up let man. them get at it and that'd you know everything that'll be hard Bro. Yeah, yeah throw, throw, put them, put them boys out there with the ones. Have a Kyrie and and and, and uh, you know Jason Tatum. You know, it's just so yeah. many top dogs in the league that can go at each other one on one, two on two, and people like, gonna tune yeah, in. Like 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 Waiters and Tim Hardaway did a while back. Yeah, yeah, them yeah. Boys yeah. Were going back. Yeah, that was boys hard. Going back and forth. Yeah, that was fine. <laughs> but that's what you want to see. You want to see the best of the best. You want to see yeah. the best versus the best. Yeah, because what I mean, what they doing right now? That... Watching, you niggas are just watching niggas play for it. What they doing now, man? It, it ain't enough. Like I watched a little bit of it, you know, on Sunday night, whatever it was. Just, them boys are jogging around, so like Luca and, and Jokic, them boys sitting there passing the ball, slapping the ball back and forth to each other up the court, like. I feel like it got to be a little bit more effort into. I saw Gilbert Arenas. He was saying, yeah, maybe they do, you know, like in the little Olympic teams when they're doing like the three dribble. You got three dribbles, you know, get a bucket. We see the little highlights of, you know, like Oladipo going up against KD, Kyrie going up against KD, like something right, like right. that to make it sure. like a little bit more competitive, it, a little bit more, yeah. a little bit more entertaining. Like, I don't know. I don't know if it's like the new generation or, you know, what it may be. Like the competitive spirit is a little bit different. Like I saw Anthony Edwards, he, he's, in an interview after the game, he's like, when I think of all-star game, I'm thinking it's just fun. Like, I I, I don't see nobody going out and competing, so I don't know if that's just the mindset of the dudes or, mm, that's, you know. That's the energy that they put out, though. You yeah, know yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm not really sure. And if, if, also, if we feel it like, through the TV, you know they, you know they out there. Bullish, you know, 100%. 100%. 100%. They're chilling. Yeah, they're chilling. Yeah. But, yeah. You go but like, it's, it's like that in the league, too, though, in the NFL. I mean, the, the Pro Bowl is... 
I don't want to say it, but it, it's shit, dog. Like, yeah, 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 no right. man, that's facts. That's facts. That's facts. That's facts. That's 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 so, that's facts. I don't know. Like you said, it's the energy, but we also we gotta figure out a way to save that. Because when I was growing up, like. We talked about it a couple weeks ago. I remember Sean Taylor smoking the kid. Like, them boys used to be playing. Them boys were playing no games out there. They're showing why they got them. Yeah. Got them. So I think those are two events that both the NBA and the NFL, they got to find some way to save or however they got to do it. They got to they gotta get it back to what it was, though, before. Yeah, yeah, definitely. The skill back. challenge that the NFL do, I I like that. Yeah, like that's that. cool. Yeah, they got, but they, if, if 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 the flag football thing is what they're gonna do for the game, I'm I'm cool with them either getting rid of that or replacing that with something. But yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, yeah. It, it, it gotta be more. Like yeah, it gotta be more. People want to see the competition. I was telling them like a couple of weeks ago, like you want to see like a group of receivers, you know, Tyree Hill, Jamar Chase, you know, whoever Stefan did match up against, you know, Slay, you know, Chamarius yeah. Moore, whatever, all these other dudes on the other side. You want to see those, boys. like how you play Madden, like when you growing up, you put all the best people on the team going sure. up there. You know? <laughs> yeah. And then you okay. guys, you see it in real yeah. life in the Pro Bowl. That's, that's, yeah. that's, that's what you really want to see. But another like topic, we talking about the dunk contest. I saw, you know, Stephen A. Smith said, you know, LeBron is the reason you know, for the dunk contest, you know, being where it is, I don't know how y'all feel about that. I, I love LeBron, but when when I heard Stephen A. take, I I'm like, that's like maybe he might. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. <laughs> bro, it made me think the same. It made me do the same thing because I'm like, damn, bro. I, I come to think about it, I'm like, damn. Jordan and did that big. Kobe did that. All the Vince Carter, all the yeah. coldest dunkers ever yeah. known in NBA history did that shit. Yeah. And then when Bron decided not to do it, bro. No superstars did it again. Yeah. Didn't he like tease it up one year saying he might do it? I'm gonna and say they end up not doing it. Bro, he was yeah. Yeah. when he was in Miami, he was yeah. Cut, man, listen. That he was a cap, boy. He was <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, when he was in Miami, he was cutting up in the layup line. And Steve and Stephen they said that, like, bro, people used to get to the games hours ahead just to see him. He was throwing the ball off the backboard, banging that motherfucker. So yeah, no, him he was going not, crazy. He was going crazy. So just for him not the, just for him not to to partake in it, I'm not gonna say it's obviously it's not yeah. a. It's not a, it, yeah. a stain on his legacy, bro. We know he wanted the goats, but the two other goats that we do put in the category, you know what I'm saying? They, they both got a, they got, they yeah. did it. Yeah, they got championships and they got champ. Yeah, but aside from LeBron, who else would you want to see in the dunk contest, though? Ja, Ant Man, Zion, yeah, John for sure. definitely got to see Ja in there. Yeah, like just, just Ja, Zion, and the Edwards. You got to see them, Zion. Them three right there. They, they could, they could put on the show <laughs> themselves. You know what I mean? Yeah, that, for sure. That joke that, that fire. That nigga Zion used to hold, used to have one man dunk competitions in, yeah. in high school. In, in, in high school. That, in high Bro. schools. That, I don't know how that nigga don't. That's that's how you came up. That's that's what you're oh, going for. Yeah. Is jamming that bit. Yeah. 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 On elementary school kids in high school. Going crazy with it. I had knees, badass knees like Jay Z. Boy, got some legs. <laughs> crazy when he be walking up. <laughs> hey, that crazy when he be walking up. Yeah, really. I seen, hey, I seen, I seen a dude do a skit, bro. Running, you, I know, I'm sure y'all done seen the skit, bro, with, with the dude dunking that bit and, and talking about how he be running back and shit. Bro. Yeah. Bro, I said, really how that nigga be walking. <laughs> wow. Hey, I, I would be, I'm going to be real interested to see, like, if they up the price on it, like, the winner get a million dollars. Watch everybody come out the world where it's like, coming up. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'll participate in that. Bonus incentives or something. I'm definitely yeah. going to participate in that for that M. No matter if I'm making 30, 40 that year. Yeah. I, you know, Make you yeah. a meme after that shit? No, I don't care. They're going to definitely make you a meme when you're worth 100 million, but you want to come to the world. They're going to go right on that and be like this. Take all of that and need it. Yeah, yeah. Need it. Oh, shoot. Let me get it right. You got your Patriots shirt on, so figured I'd ask, you know, we your teammates with Mayo. He's the new head coach. You know, what you think about that? You think Mayo going to be a good coach? How quickly, you know, you think they can turn that thing around over there? Man, I think Mayo going to be a good coach, man. I think that's the right – I think that was the right decision for for the Patriots. Arcade know what time it is. You know, he know how to find um, 
he got a history with finding good coaches, bro. He just yeah. does. You know what I'm saying? And and you know, obviously Bill put him up under his wing for a while. And and we all know Mayo know what he's doing. Mayo was a first round draft pick. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And and out me being in the building with him this past what this was last almost a year ago. Yeah. Um, bro, he bro, he he know exactly what he's doing. Um, he kind of gave me a rundown of what he would do if he was to take over. We didn't know that it would be this soon. Yeah. Um, but he doing everything that he said he was gonna do. You know, he did. He said he was gonna go find high tower. You know, that's that's somebody that you know if, yeah. if Mayo if Mayo respect you that much. Then, then you you did some good in the league or yeah. or with him as a part of you know a teammate or something because um I don't think I, I don't think I got any coaching experience. No, I, I, was, I, was, I, yeah, I, I, I was shocked though. Get a, you know how you know he like he liked the vibe, man. I didn't think he would jump oh. into the coaching thing, but I, he did say I saw him say like if if Mayo called him, he it'd be hard for him to turn it down. But I think it's gonna be dope, man. He gonna set the standard for those linebackers there. Now you got Bentley there in the middle, who's, you know, a great guy, a great football player as well has been doing solid for them in the last several years. I think Mayo's going to do a great job. I don't know how quickly they'll get it right, but I think, you know, he's going to bring great energy within the organization. Like you, you play with him, that motherfucker. Yeah. He loud, he bring, he bring yeah, the energy. <laughs> so it's going to be fun, 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 fun to be bro. around. So it's, it's yeah. going to be, it's going to be a different energy. Like nothing, like nothing. Of against Bill, Bill, greatest coach of all time, but it's going to bring a different, you know, energy within the building. I think a lot it's of guys. Be a little bit younger, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's going to be a little bit more vibrant in there. And they really yeah. going to, I think that's what a lot of this younger generation is looking for. They're looking for a little bit more energy, a little bit more of a guy who's going to bring some enthusiasm, may not be calling them out in the meeting every, right, <laughs> every, right. every right. Monday, Wednesday. Yeah, not, boy, not everybody yeah, built yeah. for that. No. Uh, <laughs> you know? Right there, right there, I'll fold some shit up, boy, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, you real, bro. <laughs> nigga be never looking, everybody be looking at you when this ain't so look good. And nigga be like, he might ask you the one thing you don't got wrote on your piece of notes. On yeah. your, he might ask you one thing. I'm thinking like, bro, how, out of all this shit on the notes, that's the hurt, bro. That's the hurt. That'd be, that'd be that hurt, boy. Hey, y'all. I don't, I don't think James ever got nothing wrong. That nigga James coming that bit prepared, man. Ready for him. Cram for that test. Cram for that test. <laughs> hey, that shit, that shit, hey, that shit used to be funny when it was somebody else, but boy, yeah, he yeah. call you. Hard hey, job, nice, boy. Yeah. All that <laughs> you know, nigga be looking at you crazy, too. <laughs> <laughs> and if you answer right, he still might get the hell. Yeah, well. how, the, how the fuck did you get that one? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, bitch. Like, like the James hey. did that one. Damn. <laughs> <Hey. laughs> funny. Nah, that's nah, bro, I, I, uh, nah, bro, I, I, I think they, I think they let Bill go out with a bang. I, they didn't. Obviously, they decided. They said they decided to part ways. We knew that they, you know, that they was, you know, kind of yeah. slowly separating. I think Mayo gonna do a great job, bro. Um, but I think it started with that number three draft pick yeah. and how you spend that money, bro. Yeah. What you, yeah. what you think they gonna do? I'll tell you what I'll do. Yeah, let me, let me hear. I'm gonna go get me a vet quarterback. Right, we got a lot of fucking money. That's what I see. Mm. Go get me a vet quarterback. That number three pick to get this Marvin Harrison Jr. kid. Yeah. And I'm a, I'm a resign Zeke. Yeah, I like that. Okay. <laughs> like that. And, 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 and we're gonna we're gonna delegate the offensive line as we go. Yeah. Yeah. And, I mean that's 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 the first steps at least. Yeah. What, yeah. Which, which, bet, so, which bet what bet you like? You like I know you know Russ might be on the market. You know, uh, Kirk Cousins of, free agent. Mm-hmm. I say, tra- I say trade. <laughs> I say trade that second and get that second round and get Justin. Man, you can do that too. That's that's, that's a solid. That's a solid. How about Jay Fields? I, I like. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nah, nah, that ain't. Nah, that ain't. Nah, that ain't. 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 Not freestyle, so I, I think he's a good quarterback. I think he's a big time playmaker, but I think that I'm not saying he Patrick Mahomes is, but I say he he got those qualities. He can move in the pocket, he can make plays with his legs, like he can do that, and he can throw the ball, bro. I've seen that he can he can really throw the football. He ain't that accurate, but he can throw it, yeah. right? Um, and 
unless you're finna go to the unless you're finna go to a way more modernized offense like what Philly run or what yeah. Uh, Miami run yeah. or something like that that you what Buffalo run yeah. if you're finna go into that kind of offense well yeah Fields could be the guy for you but if you if if you plan if you plan on we're gonna run the ball stop the run you know what you know how it go run the ball mm-hmm. stop the run and and then yeah Fields could be a guy for you but yeah. if you plan on having to throw that football bro. 25 to 30 times a game, bro. That ain't it. What you like, Jan? What you, what you say? What you say? I mean, I I don't mind Justin Fields, but I mean, you got to get a vet. If, if you're going to do that, you still got to get a vet if you're going to get Justin Fields, whether it's free agency or something. But right. I think I like the Marvin Harrison. I've been saying I like the Marvin Harrison Jr. I think he's you know, arguably the best player in the draft. Mm. Just, I think he's going to walk. He can walk, into, he can walk into any any franchise right now and be a day one starter, whether it's your yes. second receiver, first receiver, whatever it may be. You know, I, I got to cover the big tennis last year. So I got to watch all them games and see the work that he put in just smooth, fast, you know, all that good stuff. And then you can get a quarterback, you know, maybe in the second round and then, you know, sign a vet, whatever it may be. Or if a guy, you know, you trade up in the back of the, you know, the first round or whatever, get a Michael Penix or some Bo Nix or something like that. If the quarterbacks yeah. really starting to come off the board, that's how, you know, I think they play it. But, you know, at the end of the day, Wherever you pick a guy, I mean, you're going to have to develop it. I think that's the, the biggest missing piece with all these quarterbacks these days. You think, you know, you're just going to get a guy. He's going to be starting day one. It takes development. The coaches got to draw up the game plans, develop the guy the right way in order for those guys right. to have that success. That's that's the way I see it for him this year. You don't think with, you don't think with you know, the new coaching, you know, with, with, with Mayo coming in, Bill being gone, like a lot of that staff leaving that Mac don't get his swagger back? I feel like I feel like you got to keep him. I mean, I don't I don't trade him away. I, I keep him. I know. I'm not I know, trading him either, though. Yeah, I mean, he may want to change the scenery, which is, I mean, I, I probably would too. But I'm not trying. To <laughs> he ain't got no control over that, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know, boys. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, from Mayo, I'm keeping I'm keeping him there, right? Worst case scenario, don't get it twisted, right? He he not the worst quarterback in the oh. NFL. No, no, no. Took, he, he took the team to the playoffs one year, right? Yeah, right. So so he do have what it takes to at least yeah a little bit, a little yeah. bit. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't get rid of Mac. I wouldn't because I just don't. Now Zappy, you got to let him go. And that spark should be cool, right? Whenever they take Mac out, he always comes in to provide that little spark. Coming up and you throw for 150 a tub, he be like, oh shit, Zappy. Then for the next two games, that be be blowing it. <laughs> Yo, he ain't gonna pull a Nick Falls take him when you when you yeah, super Bowl? Oh, nah, nah. He ain't Nick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Nick. That, Nick, that, Nick, Nick, Nick spent count countless hours bro listen one thing i will say about nick bro nick spent countless hours studying for that moment if it was to ever come yeah. like i've never seen nick walk around there and bullshit like a like a lot of backup quarterbacks do and you know i ain't gonna never get my chance or whenever i do we're gonna be winning by a lot like nick was yeah. actually really going in and preparing bro you'll see him you'll come to the locker room you'll see him looking at the ipad going over the, the game plan and shit like that as if he's gonna as if he's gonna play so he was ready for that moment yeah. Hey, I got to ask y'all a question, right? The league now, I feel like with Mayo becoming a, a head coach, I think that's what the league is lacking, right? More coaches and guys in those positions that have played and done, you know, been under that that type of stress. But from a player standpoint, if Mayo hit one of y'all boys up, man, to come in there and coach them backs up, or, you know, I hear y'all talking about from the GM standpoint, like y'all know what to do and certain moves to make and not to make. How would y'all boys in the retirement life would y'all would y'all be consider coaching and being a bats coach? I, I I would consider it for sure. I mean, them them hours crazy. I know that. I mean, yeah, I'm, sure, I'm, sure, I'm, sure, I'm sure I'm sure I'm sure he, his hours probably ain't gonna be as crazy as what you know Bills will be because you know you know being on the same team when he was a coach Mayo. I remember him walking around the building. You know, around like three, four o'clock, he'd be like, "Man, I, I be talking to Bill, but like, I'm done with work. Can I go home like that type?" <laughs> <laughs> so, so I figured they. I mean, I'm sure you know th- this first year you got you got to be on top of it. You're gonna be a little bit more extra than as the years go on. I'm yeah. sure you start cutting it back. So I'm like, yeah, that'd be something I consider for sure. I mean, I said I played with him, but he's coached the team while I was on the team. I know you know what type of duty is, what he represents. So for sure, I definitely consider it. 
Oh, yeah, no, nah, I definitely consider it, too. Um, I've talked to him a couple of times um, since he got the job, and, you know, I, I'm going I'm to keep that line of communication open because I would, I would obviously love to help him in any aspect of the game possible, whether it's running back coach, whether it's an analyst, whether it's, you know, um, head of scouting, where you need me to go look yeah. at whatever running back's coming out, whatever it is, um, I told him I'm open to helping you, bro. Whatever you need from me, I, I got you. And that'll take one more thing off your plate if you need me. Um, yeah. Outside of that, you know, I, I mean, shit, if, 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 Besides that, I'm gonna be coaching my boys. I'm gonna yeah. be shit. I, you know, LB finna be a high schooler, so he's gonna be yeah. a freshman, and, and, <laughs> and he's gonna be a freshman yeah. in fall. So he yeah. he playing, you know, he getting prepared for that. My dog, my dog, done shot up a little bit, put on a little yeah. bit of weight. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. Shout out, shout out to Ted <laughs> yeah. for the nutrition plan. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And he put my dog uh, on the plan, start putting some weight on. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So, um, but yeah, hell yeah, man, nah, I, I I definitely help me out if he asks me to. Yeah, and I, yeah, you kind of led to it a little bit. What's that been like coaching coaching your son? He about to be in high school, so you know, seeing him grow from you know little league that you know the seven oh seven. Now he about to be in high school, which is yeah. obviously a major step. You know, we all did it kind of, especially like these days. You kind of handpicked the high school, you know, based on yeah. what it looked like, you know, mm-hmm. so, you know yeah. that type of thing. So what's that? What's that looking like for him right now? <laughs> it's looking good, man. They got a they got a nice little solid football team put together. Um, I brought majority of my kids over to this program, so it'll be it'll be nice to have some kids that you know um, that's gonna go out there and perform at the highest level. Yeah, um, and and you know that you don't got. And I'm not saying that it's kids that are gonna come from different places that's not gonna add to that or be good. But like starting out with a quarterback that you know gonna be probably the best in the mm-hmm. you know one of the one of the top five or ten in the nation. He's gonna be one of them. Um, obviously LB at receiver and another kid at re- like I, we got we got a real talented group out there um, and it's fun bro and I'm gonna I'm have fun coaching it because I ain't never did nothing at the high school level before yeah. I've, I've always had my own team so this will be my first time doing something at the high school level and, and I'm, 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 I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to stay calm, cool, and collected. Uh, I, I, I know I'm gonna, I know I'm gonna want to go out that bitch. Hey, as soon as they start calling some bullshit, I'm out there. Try to be a spectator. Give me the clipboard. Hey, man, let me get the clipboard, man. I need that. They open. They be open to it, though. You know what I'm saying? Like they don't. They don't. They don't stomp on like. Me trying to help, and I told him, I was like, "Bro, I help y'all in whatever capacity y'all want. I'm not trying to have no hostile takeover where I bring all my kids and then I'm coming over and take over the program." I say, "But when they get to the high school level, if I'm not at the NFL or in the college level coaching or anything like that, when they get to like the varsity level, like I'm going to be the play caller. I, that's what I want. That's what I. That's what my goal is to be the play caller for them at the, at the varsity level. So yeah. we'll see what that look like. But he excited though. He happy. He happy for it, man. He. A lot of people holding their kids back, but my dog, my dog, he's gonna, he gonna ride it out. For sure. Yeah. Yes, For sure. Sure. So I, you go, you go ahead. I was gonna say, you know what? I really gotta ask, man. What was it like being a back-to-back Super Bowl champ on two different football teams? Like we talked about that once before, like just us three. But like from your perspective, I, it ain't many people that can say that. It ain't many people that can do that. So what was that like? <laughs> and then we gotta know which one had a which one had the live after party. <laughs> 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 hey, so I will say this, bro. Like, as far as like winning it back to back, um, that last one against New England was bittersweet because I wanted to be there. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Sure. Like, me and James talked about it. Like, me and the running backs talked about it in, in, in depth. I'm like, bro, listen, bro, I don't want to go nowhere. Like, I want to be here. I was even saying it in interviews at one point. Um, I don't want to, you know, I, I I don't plan on it. Da da da. And uh, and I ended up having to leave. You know, and and, and I ain't really, you know, I would felt some type of way about that shit. Yeah. Like, not yeah. not not saying like fuck Bill because I know it's a business, so I can't take it personal. But I did feel some type some type of way about that shit. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, bro, how y'all let me go after um, after what we done did as a group? This group specifically, yeah, done, done did some shit that ain't never been done in Patriots history. How would you? Why right. would you want to separate yeah, that? Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and 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 that had me kind of tight. So you know, whenever, you know, throughout the course of the season, I'm starting obviously to see, okay, these niggas is, these niggas is looking like these niggas. I I know, I know what this, I know what this look like. And, and, you know, you get closer and closer to it. It's like, but they finna beat these niggas. I know they finna beat these niggas. So I know this probably who we gonna see. And, 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 you know, after we, after we, after we won and shit, bro, I, I, you know, I I said, what's up to everybody, but it was bittersweet because I ain't want to see them lose. 
Yeah. But I ain't give a fuck about everybody else losing. You know what I'm saying? I ain't give a fuck about the horse losing. Yeah, yeah. For sure. Fuck the rest of y'all, bro. Yeah, yeah. Go, yeah. Still, still, still on that for a little bit. I know, listen, I know y'all gonna go probably go get another one in the next three or four years. And then, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so. He said, hold that L real quick. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So that's how I felt about that, so. Um, but it, it was it was it was lit though, and I will say this, bro. That hey, that Philly shit was different. Like, it, was different it was different, bro. Because because Philly ain't never won it, bro. So they yeah, so yeah. they brought everybody out. Everybody, yeah. me, Ross, Kev Hart, <laughs> Cardi slid again. And Cardi was with us one time, one other time, huh? Yeah, yeah. What's she, I, don't, I don't know. But was she with us before? I don't. I know we had Migos, so, so, so I don't. Know. They all run together. Migos, <laughs> Migos still with us. That's crazy. Two chains, Wayne. Damn, bro, we was we <laughs> was wild, <laughs> nigga. It was lit, and then we went to like the little parties and shit, nigga. Floyd Mayweather was there. Dang, it was cracking. It was cracking. You know, they shot. Hey, they shot at the club that we was at. We had to get out. <laughs> hey, we had to slide out the back. Hey. <laughs> Nigga, ain't no Minnesota was. Good. I was. I was gonna say. Was, <laughs> you, in, you in Minneapolis? That's what I was gonna say. Cause that shit was hey. cold as hell. Yeah, that shit was cold. Was freezing. Hey. Yeah. I, I remember. You I remember, I remember our shit. The ball was busting. <laughs> out of back, boy. Hey, I ain't gonna like that. Not my first Super Bowl going to that we lost. And you know, at the party already paid for. So you, you know, you still you still go to the shit. We had we had like J Lo or some shit. That's J Lo and Legend. Yeah, J Lo Legend. I'm sure it's okay. Check it out. But niggas ain't pulling up. Niggas ain't pulling up. Kick it with J Lo though. It's a little different. But you just you just kind of drink your sorrows away. That be a long night, man. Long flight back home. Yeah, with y'all. Besides J Lo. What you say? Who else was there besides J Lo? Oh, that's that's all I remember for real. I mean, my dog Black Doc. That's, that's, that's crazy. That's all you remember. Damn, I mean, I mean, everybody, everybody else was fairly people that I don't necessarily listen to from from what I recall. But that you know, that's just, that's just how I go. Hey, man. Barry hey, Milo. I don't know what James James done told us. LG. Uh, I think it might have been after the Atlanta Super Bowl. I think y'all, you was finna bump somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Security, we all oh, trying to get on stage. Trying to get on stage, trying to get on stage with the security. Yeah. <laughs> hey. hey, boy, oh, that joke was funny, bro. Hey, yeah, Warren was there. Yeah, I forgot what. <laughs> hey, it was finna be up. Niggas won't let niggas on. Hey, they won't let niggas on stage with Wayne. Yeah, we. Yeah, we said, yeah. I, I saw Wayne twice. So they won't let niggas on stage with Wayne, right? At first, we trying to go up that bitch. You remember, we tried to go up that bitch, nigga. I started going there by myself, like two, like me and like two other people trying to go. I'm like, shit, nigga, this Wayne, this my favorite rap. I gotta go stand on. Yeah. Nigga, we just wanted the bowl. <laughs> nigga, they can't, they can't let, not let a nigga slide on on stage. Nigga, that nigga security stepped in front of the window, like, hey, <laughs> <laughs> y'all, y'all can't come up here. <laughs> come up. <laughs> Uh, like, you sit your ass down so had a shirt up like, had a shirt hey, toss over his shoulder hey, <laughs> oh, <laughs> come in here. I said hold on hold on give me one second give me one second I walked down that bin got about three or, got about three or four of them linemen and then, three or four of them linemen oh, that, oh, that bin. joke was hilarious oh, bro. Nigga, who can't come up Hey, y'all here for us. I walk through the niggas like this, man. Watch out, man. Y'all look fine, bro. Hey, he was up there. At the end of the day, what was up there? Hey, I put my brother on stage from the front. Yeah. <laughs> I put that nigga by his shorts. Come on. Please. Hey, but did you at least did you at least holla at Wayne? You had to holla at him after yeah. all that, fam. Yeah, when, I got, cool. when he... When he when he slid, when he slid, I walked, I walked out the back with him and hollered at him for, a, for like five, ten minutes. You know what I'm saying? A little something nice and neat. <laughs> Niggas can't go through all that and not say what's up. And not yeah. say what's up. <laughs> <laughs> say what's up Going on a journey. <laughs> <laughs> now we, you talked about the, you know, the backs a little bit. You went through it some about not being able to get paid. Now, what you think is the reason for that? Yeah. And what do backs need to do to, you know, kind of get back to that standard? You know, back in the days, you know, the APs and guys like that. Them boys got paid. That's when running the football was at, you know, really the height of the game. Now it's more yeah. a little bit about passing. What do you think for backs 
Cause he, I saw like Taysom, Taysom Hill gonna be making more than CMC next year, which is nothing, nothing against Taysom Hill, but that's that's insane, dog. Like what you that's crazy? <laughs> that's that's back, bro. <laughs> but he's not though. Right? Yeah, he, he, <laughs> y'all got a y'all got a, a backup tight end <laughs> making more than the best running back in the NFL, bro. <laughs> it's it's, 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 that's that's. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. It, 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 and and I, I think I think in order for but me personally, I think in order for the backs to reestablish the market, somebody got to uh, 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 like JT. Yeah, you got to have more guys that's gonna take that stand because he got yeah. the bag after that. Yeah, 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 yeah. for sure. You got to you got to be confident in, in your ability and what you bring to the league. Yeah. And that's what that's what that's what'll make that that's what'll give you that comfort that like bro they they need me because I don't care what nobody say that Zach Moss kid was balling he was he playing was. well but nigga yeah. when JT came back man the offense went to another level bro yeah, man, a little yeah, different, different. <laughs> different bro. that nigga was out that bitch running twenty two miles an hour <laughs> that yeah. shit was insane you know what I'm saying yeah. and Zach yeah. Moss a good running back yeah he's mm-hmm. solid he, so. he did he did he did a good job while JT was gone. But you got to have guys that is not that's not scared to stand their ground like that. He did it. I think. Sure. I think maybe say Quan did it at one point. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying like you got to have you got to have them big dog niggas like yeah. Henry. Derrick Henry gonna have to do something like that. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if he, I don't know if he's able to do it now because he's what thirty or thirty one years yeah. old. Yeah. But like them them Pacheco? young guys that's Pacheco yeah. Pacheco yeah. gonna have to stand his ground, yeah. bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like guys like that is gonna have to like. Y'all rolled my back all the way to the to the Super Bowl, all the way through the season, and 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 you want to give me three million dollars a year? Crazy. Like hell, no, nah, that's insane, <laughs> but that's crazy. Yeah. But you want to get his back up quarter? You want to get his back quarterback twelve million? <laughs> 12 million. Like, come on, <laughs> shit insane. That might not see the field. All the time. <laughs> <laughs> make it make sense, bro. Still in chains. Still in chains. <laughs> nigga, might, nigga might not see the field all season <laughs> and make twelve million. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy, bro. I was gonna the last the last two running backs that did that was what Zeke and Le'Veon. Yeah, Zeke Le'Veon. Uh, Le'Veon. I mean, it worked for them. Yeah, it ended up working. I mean, Le'Veon got put in a bad situation. Yeah, in, he was in, in a bad York, situation so, for sure. So that shit ain't end up working out. But Zeke, I mean, Zeke made the majority of his shit. He and you see, he's, he still got, he still got it though. Oh, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah I, and I, I will say for Le'Veon is a bad decision on his part because Jets you know. offered him the same amount of money as the Steelers offered him. It was just a little bit more guaranteed. Just a little bit yeah. more. I don't want, you know, one or two million dollars. I mean, don't get me wrong, that's that's a lot of bread, bro. Yeah. But when you're making 13 a year or 14 a year and, and somebody guarantee you 20 and they trash as fuck and somebody yeah. guarantee you 18 and they always a playoff contender, I'm going to stay there. And you know you flow in that offense. You know, yeah. you, know you, you know. <laughs> You're the reason that the offense is as nice as it is. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, right. That's that's a mistake on Le'Veon, and that did hurt the running back market. Yeah. yeah because it's sure. like, why you pay a nigga $13 million a year, and this nigga ain't played but two games. He, ain't had 100, <laughs> he, only, he only had 500 yards rushing in three years yeah. total. Yeah, that's tough. They gave him that bread. Yeah. yeah. That's they gave him nothing. They paid him. Yeah, I, I think that's really what it is too. Once once dudes get paid, the you know the performance still got to be up there. You got to stay healthy. We can't get the check and then we rush for eight hundred. You know, two tugs like like we yeah. can't do shit like that. Then it's tough for the next man. If you guys get right. paid the the fifteen sixteen m's, then you still got to be rushing for over a thousand yards. We still need yeah. you know over seven plus touchdowns. We still need the catches and all that yeah. impact in the offense. You got to have all that junk in order. to – you know, for that market to get back to where it's but but you kind of see it though. The game, I know it's a passing game, but them teams who can run the football really be the ones that win. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You see the two Super Bowl teams, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, bro, you gotta be able to tote that pill. That's what I say to everybody, bro. And the crazy thing for me is Baltimore was the best running team in the NFL, bro, and, and got to the playoffs and chose not to run the football. Yeah. That's not that's that you can't blame that on Lamar. You can't yeah. say, oh Lamar, Lamar still can't win the big game, or you can't say that, bro. Because they forced Lamar to throw that bitch 50 times. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Shit, we have 22 passes. Yep. And 10 carries. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 12 to 15 carries. That's how you win with him. Yeah. 
And we said we t- we talked about that like it, it's it's shit. Shanahan did it in the Super Bowl. These coaches, they nuts is getting tight in these big games too, and we gotta address it. Like the minute a player don't do something a certain way or they can't get the job done or over the hump, guess what? We'll see. Out of there. You know what I'm saying? But then yeah. we got these, but we got these coaches that we put so high on the pedestal. I, I'm I'm really talking about Kyle Shanahan, but even it's not even. I'm just being real, right? Three Super Bowl appearances. The first one, you stopped running the football. You would have thought he would have learned from the, the Atlanta Super Bowl. Got yep. to another Super Bowl. Obviously, some things Jimmy G missed the throw that could have won the game. But here it is, your third time. Against it's, a just team. Hard. it's, yeah. it's this the time where you should have that experience of knowing when I get in this game, I gotta be able to run the ball. And if yeah. I lose that way, then okay, and then I can go back to the drawing boards and figure it out some other way. But right, coaches are getting in these big games, and the stuff that got them there, it's like they forget all about it, and it needs to be addressed at some point. Like coaches need to be on the same pedestal. I mean, coaches need to be held accountable the same yeah. way that these players are being held. Cause you costing teams, you costing teams championships. Bro, and, yeah. and, the, and yeah. the, bro, the best player on your team. We ain't got to keep going back to the Super Bowl, bro. But the best player on your team was in the backfield. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he was eating too. Now that's and crazy. Eating, bro. Yeah. He was going crazy. <laughs> he was and, going crazy. In Baltimore, your best group, obviously Lamar put puts them at a different you know level as far as running the ball. But your best group the whole year has been the running back group. And you just you, you get in this game, and now it's just like you get you get buddy three carries in the second half. Come on, man! That's, that's, that, that's Fire them! <laughs> and somebody got to get niggas up out of there. Yeah. And, and, and I can even say that for Dan Campbell, bro. The Lions they put themselves in a position to where they could have possibly won the game on multiple occasions. Mm-hmm. And then you got this coach that you know we're gonna fucking scratch and bite kneecaps and all that. <laughs> and, 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 and I understand. That. I love that mentality and all that shit, bro. But at the end of the day, bro, when bro, listen, you ain't got to do all that, bro. Play the game, right? Yeah. In the playoffs, bro, points matter the most. Yeah. You can't give them up. You can't. You can't go for it on fourth down and you and you and you, and you got a thirty-two yard field goal right there in your face, or you, you know what I'm saying? Like you just can't yeah. make them kind of yeah. mistakes, bro. And like you said, bro, coaches got to be held accountable for that shit. Yeah. Like they going the media going a lot of people gonna go back around and say, uh, well, you know, this person could have made this play and this person yeah. could have made this play. Uh, yeah, bro. At the end of the day, bro, the head coach could have made a better decision to fucking kick two field goals we and win this game. <laughs> mm-hmm. And, and, and y'all, saying? y'all boys been there multiple times. But for a team like Detroit, like I, I don't know when the I don't know when the hell they've been in the playoffs, let alone the NFC Championship. Yeah. So it's, it's not guaranteed since Barry. Since Barry. So it is, and that's been like 20, 30 something years. You give them 27, 30 something. I mean, they might they might have been like one time or two with like Megatron, but that's yeah. it. Yeah. But that's yeah. it. So it's like in this case, bro, like we need to get in this game and do the right shit. Not, yeah. not play Madden. <laughs> nah, niggas definitely out there been playing Madden. Yeah, what, 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 we ain't on the analytics. Like, bro, when, when, you, when the fuck did the analytics become this important to the game, bro? Listen, analytics, I understand it. I, I, I understand it. You know, the numbers, the percentages, all that shit. Whenever Bill preached that shit, that shit be dead on. Hey, yeah. 63% of the time on third and five or less, they're going to bring zero blitz. Yeah. They, they probably going to do that shit. But it's going to be one or two times. But they don't. <laughs> but they don't do that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, now, and now the number's fucked up. <laughs> not, not enough to fuck up like, like hey. man, you said 63% of the time well they don't do that shit 42% of the time <laughs> you, know, that's, that's you know what I'm hey. saying it, that, that's, you can't always that analytics shit ain't always right yeah yeah, yeah. You, gotta, you gotta you gotta have a feel for the game the momentum of the game I feel like that still plays a big factor and I know all the percentages and all that which they gotta do for their presentation to make sure you prepare at the end of the day you gotta, you gotta, you gotta see what's going on before you go out there yeah. and call some shit. But you, got, you, gotta, like you, said, you gotta feel it. Yeah, yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta feel the game. And let's flip to the college side. You know, you went to Oregon. Y'all coming to join a real conference now in the Big Ten. Yeah, be you know the <laughs> yeah. Come on, hey, with it. sweetest. Everybody in the Big Ten is up for Ohio State. 
Nah, he don't, he don't believe, fam. He don't believe <laughs> he, that. He don't. He don't. So we we don't whoop everybody that we done played in the Big Ten except yeah, for Ohio did. State. Y'all, y'all, y'all beat us in the, in the Rose Bowl that one yeah, year. Yeah, we whooped y'all. One year. You ain't whoop one us. Year. You ain't no whoop year. us. Y'all, let, we let Justin Herbert go out there and run around and Do shit. a little we too worry, much. We worry about his arm. That motherfucker was scrambling all over the fucking place. Hey, y'all, in our <laughs> y'all got <laughs> Y'all need to stay away from analytics, bro. <laughs> <laughs> y'all thought y'all going to throw for 500. <laughs> 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 what what'd you think about Oregon joining the Big Ten? You, you really think that shit going to be sweet? Or what you, what you think it looked for y'all? It's going to be sweet. You, you play, Oh no! Oh lord! I, I don't think it's I don't think it's gonna be sweet. Nah, I don't think it's gonna be sweet. But I do think we're gonna establish ourselves as one of the best teams yeah. in the conference. Yeah. Like guys that have been there for a long time. I think uh, I think we enter the conference over a lot of teams. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Y'all, y'all definitely jump. Y'all definitely jump a lot of teams for sure. You know, what I, mean? I like I like what I, I like what I seen for y'all this past year. Y'all, to me, this past year, y'all played a much more physical. Like brand of football oh, sure. than, yeah. than what than what I've seen and like when you was a y'all play physical like UJ Stu like all that stuff like then I feel, feel like I got a little bit more finesse you got away from it yeah 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 <laughs> but like now it's kind of getting back to that physical defense alignment offense alignment and all that so I I feel like y'all do fit in well but I, it's gonna be fun to watch I know we play y'all next year I'm pretty sure so we yeah. we will see how that one well, shake out we we still working on we some things we yeah we, 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 yeah, we, yeah, we, yeah we can slide we can slide that game for sure oh, 100%. <laughs> you know what though I'm interested to, I'm interested to see how Oregon do when they now they getting into a you know a, a conference that actually play defense you know what I'm saying so <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see what happens <laughs> <laughs> now you gotta do a week in and a week out listen <laughs> listen facts so, so you know you know you play teams out of your conference Every year, so we'll play our Pac-10 game, Pac-10 games. Then we might have two SEC games, or we might have two Big Twelve games, or whatever. like we, that year that we played Tennessee, and I think we might have played Vanderbilt in the same. Year. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, we don't, we've been playing out of our conference, and we whooping we whooping teams out of the conference, bro. <laughs> oh damn, I think you, but Georgia hung seventy on y'all, bro. I mean, <laughs> yeah, that, but that's insane, though. That yeah. bro, they would have. They they would have sent me on anybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I, they were they were lying. <laughs> that nigga was cold as hell. That nigga was cold, nigga. Yeah, yeah. That nigga dropped seventy on us, bro. I, I was like, bro, them. Right then and there, I knew the niggas were winning the natty. Yeah, yeah got to. Yeah, yeah. drop a seventy ball early in the year. That yeah, shit. Was, yeah, I knew what time was. To win a natty. Hey, you gotta see, tell us. We, we got a natty away from us because that bullshit play when we played against Auburn. Buddy got tackled, and then yeah, everybody stood up. there, and he he stood up and started running again. <laughs> 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 Rush me, bro. I'm like, nigga, we gonna win that natty. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> I ain't gonna that that was a crazy time too, cause that's when Oregon came out. Them boys had the little gold vein. Oh, yes. And not the gold, uh silver. The silver, and yeah. yeah. That, silver. Them the best, them the best vapors ever made out of that. Out of that. <laughs> so crazy. they had the silver gloves, <laughs> silver vapors. Oregon always been oh, next level yeah. in the uniforms. And I was gonna ask you about that. Like how, you know, going to Oregon, New New Jersey, it seemed like every other every week. How that was for y'all boys, because getting fresh is a part of, you know, getting fresh and having your <laughs> fit on is a part Gotta of be fresh. Gotta be fresh. <laughs> nah, it was it was fine, bro. Um, a lot of guys had hands in. What I will say about Oregon, that's that's that's, I don't think a lot of teams have is they let the players get involved in the uniform designs. That's mm-hmm. fire, right? That's so fire. so the ones that had the little silver look like silver cuts and plates on them that I played in at first. That was Dennis Dixon and Jay Stu and a couple of guys designed those. That's but the dope. ones that came out with the feathers on them, when, when we first came out with the feathers, um, that was us. That's fire. That's fire. Yeah, that, that, that's Our shit went crazy, bro. you know what I'm saying? And um, we had the all black with the, with the silver numbers outlined in yellow. It, it went crazy, so that, it was always hard to do that, and they always they always take care. I mean, James knows James didn't send the care packages that they send us yeah, and shit. Yeah, yeah they, they take yeah. care, of y'all. You, you yeah. still got I, access. That'd be crazy. I ain't gonna count you. I think we were the same size, bro. Hook your boy up. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. I don't know about the shoes though. I don't know about else. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Hey, appreciate it. hey you gotta James. Hey, they, hey, they say gotta keep the shoes. They, they just send niggas that. Five. <laughs> <laughs> I got 
every pair, and it was, every almost probably stuff like one or two. I got every pair of retros that they didn't drop. Every That's pair. crazy, oh, bro. Yeah. And, and me, and, me and Jay and sneaker here, so we know that. <laughs> oh, I know my dog with sneaker here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah. Tight, man. That's tight, crazy. man. But that, that's a wrap for this Money Down podcast. We appreciate you joining us, LG, yeah, man. 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 Make sure oh. y'all like, subscribe, comment, Instagram, Twitter, Spotify, all platforms at the Money Down Pod. More exclusive content coming soon. Yeah.